Hello and welcome back to the channel. If this is the sort of content that you like, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Something a little different for you today. I'm helping a lady out with her late father's T5 camper van that has a faded door and wing. She's asked if I could bring some of the shine back into her beloved camper. So here's how we got on. Hope you like this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Any comments, please leave them in the comment section. And let me know what you think. Thanks guys and enjoy. To be fair to this old T5 camper, it was in very good condition. There was a little bit of green here and there, but it has been it had been sat for a while, so you're gonna expect that. But as you can see, there is a massive difference to the driver's door and wing to the rest of the vehicle. So with any detail, you should always start with the wheels because these are the dirtiest. So as you can see, I'm just spraying a bit of citrus on the tires and a bit of wheel cleaner to the face of the wheel. I'm then going to agitate the arches. These are plastic arches. I don't know why manufacturers have gone to carpet. They are an absolute nightmare to clean. But this one had lovely plastic arches which was no match for my long handle Viking brush. Then I went about the tires with my short handle of Viking brush. Then getting in with my Maguire's wheel woolies and also just watch the wheel, watch the wheel woolly pull out all the dirt from the inside of the barrel. So as you can see here, I've got my soft 99 small detailing brush. This is great for getting into the spokes if you have tight fitting spokes and into the wheel nuts just to get rid of that extra dirt. So now I'm just giving it a good rinse with the karcher and as you can see on the end I've got a small stubby gun. This is fantastic for getting into the sh to the wheel arches and into the barrels of the wheels. So now, just before we apply a nice thick blanket of Maguire snow foam, we're just going around the vehicle with some citrus pre-wash. What this stuff does, it'll just break down any contaminants or dirt that's on the vehicle. And when once the snow form has been applied over the top of it, it gives it a longer dwelling time for it just to eat away at any stubborn stains. At this point, I would like to point out and apologise. I did have my 14 year old son with me who is currently filming this video but he must have thought that he was making some sort of TikTok videos with the camera angles that he had filmed some of this footage with. So again I am sorry. So right here is a little bit of a close up of the citrus pre-wash working all this magic just before we apply the Maguire's snow foam
So as you can see, we're just applying a nice thick blanket of Maguire's Ultimate Snow Foam. Very impressed with this snow foam. Great cleaning power, as well as teamed up with our citrus. Brilliant. I couldn't fault it. The only fault that I have is I bought this from Halfords. It cost me £20 for 946ml, which... If you're going to do this every weekend, you're going to rip through the bottle and it's going to cost you. This is just a detailed look of the snow foam doing its job. As you can see, it's not too thick. It's what you want is to for it to run from the top all the way down to the bottom, taking all the dirt and contaminants with it. So while the snow foam is doing its thing, I'm just going around with another auto bright soft detailing brushes just going into the doors the rubbers it's surprising how much dirt as you can see from from the video is captured in these door rubbers and in any around the door handles around the lights around any grills door shuts petrol caps and these brushes are really really great bit of kit just for getting in them little nooks and crannies so here's another one just going around the badge makes light work of getting into it also if you have if your vehicle got right in like this one has just makes cleaning inside the gaps just a lot lot easier And in here, like I said, just getting into the grills. Without these brushes, it'd be very, very difficult to get into this grill just to try and remove all the, all the dirt. Just a quick note. While you're there with a the detailing brush, just do your, your petrol cap. After all, nobody likes a dirty flap, do they? I'm calling dibs in the shower. So now we're just going to rinse the vehicle off. There's a load of people giving people stick for all incorrect rinse techniques. Some go from the top to the bottom. Some go from the bottom to the top. Do it whichever way you see fit. As long as you get all the snow foam off the car, it doesn't matter which way or how you do it.
so what are we doing here this is detox by a polish brand shiny garage i do rate a lot of these uh products from shiny garage and this one in particular is a fallout remover for the body it's designed to get rid of all the iron contaminants out of the body so then you can go around with a clay bar and just swoop them off just before polishing because the last thing you want to do is put your polishing pad on a contaminated surface the pad will absorb the iron, fi iron filings or dust tar and you're just going to damage your paint even more so this is vital that you go around with a fallout remover and a clay bar just so your paintwork is 100% clean So now you can see we're on the contact wash. I'm using a microfiber pad from Shiny Garage and purple velvet from Auto Bright Shampoo. Really rate this shampoo. Really a little goes a long way. Super sudsy and super slick. So when it comes to drying, as I've probably stated in a few of my videos, this is the best drying towel I've ever had. This is a Korean drying towel from Because Race Car. Uh, I bought them as a pack of two. This is my bigger towel of the two, but on the day I probably could have got away with using my littler one. So now the car's fully dry, we're going to start with the correcting or polishing. So as you can see, I'm just putting four pea-sized dots onto a pad and I'm just going to go at a crosshatch position up and down, left and right with my DA from Autobike 21. Sorry about the lack of footage. Uh, as you know, my cameraman was playing more attention to TikTok than he was to filming me. But as you can see, we do still have a different shade this is the bonnet all done compared to the wing which is quite dull in the door so this is the last video that I have uh, before my camera actually died uh, as you can see there's tape all over the van that's just to stop any polish residue going into any rubbers because it is quite difficult to get out and um, as you can see the results are fantastic I was really really pleased with how it's come out and I wish I'd had the owner's reaction on this because she was basically she she was in tears with how well it turned out uh, she just wishes that her father could have seen it before he passed away but guys thanks for watching I really hope this is something you like don't forget any comments leave them in the comment section thanks again for watching subscribe and like the video and i'll see you on the next one take care